Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to give you guys a quick update on this Palmetto uh, 223 Wild Upper. Let me guys, give you guys a peek, a closer peek look at this barrel over here. All right, so as you can see there, uh, 223 Wild, one and seven twist, uh, stainless steel. I did a video last week um, where I was, um, I was comparing this to the Ruger NPR, both of them 18 inch barrels. The Ruger NPR being chambered for 5.56, which of course also shoots 223. Uh, and this um, being chambered as a 223. Now, of course, this also shoots 5.56 and 223. The difference between the, the 223 wild and the 5.56 chambering is the 223 is is uh is basically a little bit tighter okay i, I discussed that in the video i don't want to go into all the details uh, again you should check out that video if you haven't seen it but um in that video the five the ruger uh 556 barrel was when i tested these side by side was shooting a little bit better okay um i had the best group of that day was a half inch at 100 yards in the Ruger NPR. The best group that I could get on that day with this, with this 223 Wild uh, was an inch and, I think it was an, an inch and a quarter. I think it was an inch and a quarter. But, uh, you know, not, not you know, definitely more than an inch. Um, so, and I said in that video, you know what, maybe there's a break-in period, maybe the rifling needs to settle in. So I've done a whole bunch more shooting with this and uh, today, uh, first shots out of the gate, you know, I've, I've had other people shoot this gun, you know, that I was training. So it's got, you know, I don't know, maybe 100 rounds on so far on that barrel. And uh, actually, I don't need the marker, I need the, the tape marker. <laughs> um, took this out today, first shots at 100 yards with the Sierra Match King half inch group. Okay, and the lighting conditions are weren't even great. I mean, it's, it's starting to get dark. It's starting to get, you know, it was a little lighter earlier, but now it's definitely starting to get darker. Um, so uh, yeah, so basically now I've got uh, two rifles that shoot half-inch groups. I've got the uh, Ruger MPR, uh, which I got for like uh, the rifle. That rifle was like I think six hundred and twenty dollars when I bought it, and then I've got uh, this upper over here which I paid uh, $350 for. The lower on this is, I think I got it for like $150. It's also a Palmetto lower. And it's got a just a, a mil spec trigger, okay? I have not, uh, I, I do plan to um, upgrade the trigger on this. The Ruger MPR does have a slightly better trigger. It's a two stage trigger. Uh, this one just has a standard like seven pound mil spec trigger that hit that uh, half inch group. Uh, I mean, it takes a little bit of work. I mean, you gotta, you know, with the trigger pull, I mean, it's doable. It's just, you know, it just takes a little bit more concentration. So, um, I, 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 I've got a couple of match grade triggers. At some point, I'm gonna, uh, put this upper on the lower that has a, um, a match grade trigger. I don't know if I want, I don't know if this is the lower that I'm gonna, uh, get to put the match grade trigger into, or I got another one on the way in. Maybe I'll, I'll pick that one. I, I don't, I mean, that's also a palmetto. It doesn't make a difference. I mean, it's definitely gonna be on a palmetto lower. Uh, it's just a question of whether it's this one or another one. So, it's going to get a three and a half pound match screen trigger. Uh, it w you know, we'll see if it does a little. Here's the thing. I don't know if it will necessarily do better, but I might be able to hit uh, the half inch group more consistently, on, uh, you know, on a more frequent basis. Because, I mean, you know, of course, I'm just like everybody else. I don't always bet shoot my best. Um, I mean, I'm capable of a half inch group at 100 yards. Um, I, I can do it with a mil spec trigger like I did right here today with this. Um, I, if I have a match grade trigger, it's a little easier. I can do it more frequently. Okay. Um, so, by the way, I just want to give a, put an update on there because last time I talked about this Palmetto 223 Wild, um, you know, I was a little disappointed with that. You know, I didn't just immediately, you know, hit a half inch group out there. I, it seems like it took a little bit of, you know, I had to run a few more rounds down that barrel. Maybe to get that rifling to settle in a little bit, you know, maybe there's some rough edges. I don't know. I mean, I, but today, um, and it's not like, you know, it wasn't even like, uh, the, the, when I shot this, the lighting conditions weren't even ideal. Okay. And, and for that matter, down here, um, because the half inch group I got with, I shot with the, uh, Sierra 
77 grain Sierra Match King. And then I did the, the 55, the 55 grain x tax which the last time I was shooting this with the x tax I mean, the groups were big. They were like almost like three inches um, on that, on that upper, which was like really disappointing. Uh, and, and again, on the same day, at the same hour, I was, I was shooting the Ruger and the Ruger was like hitting like, it, I, I hit the half inch and then with the, with the, with the, with the x tax I was hitting one inch groups. So I'm like, what's going on with this? But today, um, with the with the PNC 55 grain X tax let's see, I've got one group that I shot that came in at two inches, but then I shot another group, the second group that I shot, which was basically right on top of it, uh, that came in at well, it's getting too dark, I can't barely see now. Uh, that came in at one inch, so I got a one inch group uh, with the PMC X tax so th so this barrel is still is delivering. Um, I mean, I don't at this point. I can't say that 223 Wild is necessarily better than just a 556 chambering. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm getting pretty much the same results on 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 my Ruger MPR as I am with this 223 Wild from Palmetto. But hey, I mean, <laughs> I mean, who's you know? I'm not complaining about a half-inch group. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.